Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So AMC, here we go again. So let's go ahead and look at it, guys. Because as I was telling you guys in yesterday's uh, video, last night's video, AMC had a resistance right around six dollars and thirty cents. As soon as it broke above resistance at six thirty, like it did this morning, this thing was going to shoot straight off to seven dollars. Go back to last night's video. We called the price target for AMC to hit seven, and the max for it to hit is seven sixty-five on the day but of course we is approaching near power hour towards the end of the day we ain't got much left of the day left so we probably just will be hitting that seven dollar price target right what i was expecting today but best case scenario would have been six seven dollars and 65 cents because as we know guys the market is ready to rumble it's ready to go guys we got cpi inflation data to be reported inflation has came down as i told you guys we could just look around and see that it was coming down and that was the obvious but most people don't use common sense to be able to you know do that and basically what i want to tell you guys in that sentence is sometimes whenever you're just sitting on the sidelines in a cash position and waiting uh for the best opportunities to get in the market sometimes using common sense before data is released could be a market edge meaning you could put a lot of money in the market right before in a quality security right before cpi inflation data to be reported the day before whenever you see content clues in the economy where prices have declined then you could use that knowledge to your advantage and load up the day before and be like boom i know i'm, I'm looking to make a lot of money because you know theoretically it's all lining up right so anyways let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on guys because we is having a great great friday giving me a lots of confidence going into next week being for the fact that friday is usually a sell-off usually we see a pullback a lot of investors day traders short-term investors millionaires they like to pull their money out of the market during uncertain times and usually on fridays but the two for one now we in uncertain times a lot of choppiness and on top of that it's a friday with both uh both scenarios coming into play on why uh investors will pull out of the market guys so let's go ahead and uh, also it's multiple reasons let's not just say them only two because i know how the people in the back will say oh then uh, another reason is a lot of investors like to move their money you know could they be day trading markets they'll move their money out of the stock market because it's closed obviously and now they about to put all that money into crypto that's why sometimes nine times out of ten we'll see crypto start to boom over the weekend because all that money was moved from the stock market over to there so anyways let's go ahead and see what's going on guys in today so right here we got s p 500 gains on friday as it is for this best week since june guys the s p 500 gained friday as uh inflation was reported to be slowing down the s p 500 added 0.1 percent bringing in bringing its gains for the week more than five percent its best week since one ended june 24th of this year so great 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 friday guys great great friday so as we know we had some bangers a lot of stocks that we've been calling out lately have been performing outperforming the market drastically like carvana is one of them it's still up doing fairly well on today again up over 11 percent guys we made 400 dollars off carvana again today on the call option i sold that option because as i know carvana could shoot up to 13 from here but we know how choppy it is and what's going on behind closed doors many of the fundamentals of the business so it could definitely you know do some things that scare some people out before going a bit higher guys and that's not saying long term long term right now is looking ugly for carvana but short term price action is looking beautiful it could be a squeeze over there guys just saying that's not hyping it up telling you to go put all your money in carvana no 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 because i'm very safe with it. i'm getting in i'm getting out and if, once i continue to do that you know i might just keep a few hundred dollars seven hundred six hundred dollars in carvana of house money so then, you know, if it decides to squeeze or shoot up to $50, $60 and come back down and not sustain itself, then I still got skin in the game and I can make a lot of money from a move like that. You know, you can make a few thousand dollars. So anyways, not a lot of money, you know, let's change the wordplay on that because, you know, money is subjective. So maybe a lot, some, a little bit to some. So anyways, guys, uh, if we see right here, we got uh, Tilray also going off, guys. I've been headed on your radars. Told you guys, the future of our future is going to be EV and marijuana, meaning, you know, it got more potential to make you 20x, 30x, 50x, 100x your money. Uh, companies like Apple and Nike, you know, you it'll be a cold day and a cold day and you know where you a cold day and you know where. But 
before you see a hundred X return in your lifetime. You get what I'm trying to say? And it could happen. Cause the hell I don't know. You know, we don't know what, cause anything could happen, right? But logically thinking, using common sense, I don't think you're gonna make a hundred X return or 50 X return or probably not in 20 X return in your lifetime with Apple already reaching this, you know, reaching already, reaching, already kind of reaching this uh, peak. Not saying that it peaked out because it's going to continue to grow, but I hope you get what I'm saying. I hope y'all ain't that crazy to not get what I just now said. But anyways, though, guys, uh, AMC is looking lovely, man. We are approaching the price target, as you can see, while we recorded. We had $6.97. I'm pretty sure it's going to get to seven. And as we know, once it crosses over that new dollar, that thing like to move quick, get to 17, 720, 730. So we could possibly see it, guys, and power hour approaching. But hopefully we do, because I know a lot of people been, you know, down and out by AMC, coming down, hitting a low, low fives, guys. It was looking ugly. Analysts putting price targets out for AMC at a dollar and all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, as we know, we uh seen we built support right around uh resistance at 631. We broke through 6, 631 this morning, and then we see we start to hold support at 630 ish. And that's a great, great sign of continuation. Great sign, guys. And as we blast through seven, that's exactly what we want to see. We want to run up and hit resistance, maybe at that 765, and then it's gonna sell off and come back down. But we want to see us hold support at the high six is around 690 and the uh, low savings right around seven dollar territory and that'll show us a great great uh indications going into next week and all that good stuff guys so you already know what to do edge boy on instagram at the behave show i love y'all we out and god bless you we come